I wanted to be real with you today and clear up some misconceptions because it sounds like a lot of times people email me thinking that I've got all the answers, that I was born knowing how to do this, and I have some kind of master plan that was able to magically solve everything for myself and I can just kind of hand that off to you. That's not really how this works and that's not really who I am. It took a long time before I was willing to admit this, but I actually didn't score all that great the first time I took the LSAT or the second or the third. I took several timed exams and was still stuck in the 150s and nothing was really clicking for me. And it took a tremendous amount of work and detailed review. But finally, after an entire year of studying, I was able to get my scores up into the 170s and finally score a 175 on test day. It did not happen overnight. It took an entire year of in-depth preparation. And so when people come to me thinking that I've got all the answers that I can magically unlock questions. I, I really can't. I actually sometimes still get stumped by LSAT questions and I've never scored a perfect 180 on a timed exam and I don't even think I could do it right now. And that's okay. I don't really need to be able to do that. That's not who I am. If you want a born and bred genius, then look elsewhere because you're not going to find it here. I'm just a regular guy, just like you watching out there, trying to study, trying to improve, feeling like an idiot when I don't get it or I'm confused. And maybe there's a bit of what's called imposter syndrome going on where I'm not really, really able to admit to myself that I do know this exam, that I have got it down, that I am an expert. I'm not really sure what an expert is. I don't know how I'll feel when I'm there. I'm guessing I'm there right now because people tell me I am and because I've created formulas and written explanations and even written my own LSAT questions from scratch. And there are probably not that many people out there who know the exam better than I do. But I think that's more due to the fact that the LSAT is incredibly difficult than anything incredible about myself personally. It's kind of funny because the, they say the people who do the best on the LSAT are typically philosophy and physics majors. If you look at people's majors related to their LSAT scores, those are the groups that typically do the best. And I never even took physics, not even in high school. And... I took one philosophy class in college, and or at least I tried to, and I dropped out after the first class session because I did not really understand or have any idea what they were talking about. And the various philosophy, philosophy books I read in college for other classes, I found to be really difficult. So this really is not something I ever should have become good at. I don't really even know how I fell into this. I originally just wanted to be a lawyer like many of you, but something about the LSAT appealed to me. Maybe it's because I thought that by studying, I could get smarter, that I could master this exam and prove something to myself, but it just kind of took a hold of me and I stuck with it and truly wanted to master it especially the logic games part, but not only that. I saw a kind of underlying formula to each part of the exam, and I wanted to crack that code. And that's kind of what kept me coming back to this exam again and again, along with my ego, of course. And so I just wanted to share that with you. I'm not a natural born genius. I'm not really anybody special. I'm just somebody who spent a lot of time doing practice tests and slowly cracked the code through doing so. And that's kind of what I'm doing with my work. I'm still learning this exam 
on a deeper level and in different ways as time goes on. And my understanding of it is evolving just like I'm sure yours is. So if you have any particular insights about this exam or tips or tricks you've learned along the way, please share them with me because I still have learning and growing to do with this exam as you do. And I'm chronicling my findings and sharing them through my website and through these videos and I'll continue to do so. So if you have any requests or any ideas, please feel free to reach out. I'd love to hear from you. All the best as you study for the LSAT and take care.